When installing metal wall panels, it's important to know that the screw placement and overlap are not the same as if you were installing the panels on a roof. In this video, we're going to show you how it's done. Welcome to the Metal Roofing Learning Channel. Brought to you by Western States Metal Roofing, where you can find a variety of panel colors and finishes, all while saving 15 to 50% on your materials by buying Factory Direct. We will cover how to overlap corrugated metal wall panels, screw location, high or low of panel, screw placement on the panels, and screw line spacing. Please support our channel by subscribing as we release new videos weekly. Prior to installing metal siding, proper underlayment and base trim should be installed. Corrugated panels come in a variety of widths. The most popular that we will address are 37 inch and 39 inch panels. Overlapping corrugated metal wall panels. 7 8 corrugated metal wall panels can be installed vertically or horizontally. The screw pattern suggested in this video will apply to both methods. When overlapping two panels, a strip of double-sided beetle tape should be placed on the first high seam of the lower panel. Panels should be overlapped opposite of prevailing winds whenever possible. The panels will overlap one corrugation, which will result in loss of material. The distance lost should be accounted for when measuring the distance needed for wall coverage. For example, a 37-inch wide panel, when overlapped, will result in 34.67 inches of coverage. A 39-inch wide panel, after it's overlapped, will result in 37 inches of coverage. Each overlap should have a quarter inch by 7 8 inch lap screw on the high seam. The lap screw will be in the center, between screw lines, and should not exceed 18 inches on center. For example, screw lines 36 inches apart would have a lap screw 18 inches on center. Walls will often run taller or wider than your panels. When this occurs, you will need to splice your panels together. Splicing should be a minimum of six inches. A strip of double-sided butyl tape should be placed in the middle of the splice. Fastening wall panels. Our recommendation for wall panels is that you fasten on the low seam. This leads to a more secure connection. Always make sure that you're in compliance with your local building codes. For this reason, the spacing between screw lines should be determined by the engineer. If you decide not to hire an engineer, we can only offer some general guidance. The most popular screw line spacing is screw line spaced at 36 inches on center. If the job is not installed at 36 inches on center, then the next two most common distances are 24 inch or 48 inch on center. When in doubt, more attachment is better than less attachment. There will be five panel screws and one lap screw per screw line. The lap screw is the screw that sits in the high and is designed for a light gauge metal to light gauge metal connection. The panel screws are spaced out so that every third corrugation has a screw, including both sides of the panel side lap. When the corrugated sheeting is 39 inches wide instead of 37 inches wide, the screw placement will be slightly different. You'll have screws at every third corrugation. However, one screw will be placed four corrugations apart to compensate for the larger width. metal siding or wall panels, attaching to a metal substrate. An engineer will determine the spacing between the metal studs or channel. Once the spacing is determined, then the corrugated panels are typically attached to every line of studs or channel. You can find step-by-step -step installation videos and homeowner guides on our channel. And don't forget to show your support by hitting the like button and subscribe.